Peace everyone, I'm Mascart here and welcome back to the 10 minute challenge. This is the redemption version. So the first one that I did looked like this and it's terrible. However, I learned a few things. And the first thing that I learned is I need to work much smaller because I'm working with markers here. Uh, I totally ran out of time. I spent like 70% of my time coloring the sky in and it was just, it was a disaster. And the next thing, so rule number two allows me to have a sketch. I'll go over the rules in a moment, but on this first one, I put a border and it kind of, it made it hard because I tried to stay in the lines. On this one, I'm losing the border and it also took me like 45 seconds to draw a circle with a stencil. So for my sketch, I'm just gonna have a circle and you can see I have a circle here. Um, so it's still within the rules. Uh, so rule number one is you have to start with either a white or black canvas. Here I'm with white again. Uh, rule number two is you're allowed to have a, a sketch. Rule number three is that you can use any medium that you want. I'm gonna be using markers, colored pencils, and a tiny bit of ink. And of course, rule number four, you have to do it within 10 minutes. I'm, I haven't even started yet and I'm already out of breath. Anyways, so uh, once again, I was tagged by the lovely artist, Lisa from Lockery Fine Art. I'll have her channel in the description. The artist that started this awesome challenge is Ryan O'Rourke. He has a great channel that you can also check. I will have the link to everybody in the description. And again, the three artists that I'm tagging are Jeff Lafferty, Nick from Import Autumn, and Christy Partridge. So yes, they are tagged for this challenge. Again, tagging them again because it's the second time I'm doing this. Anyways, I have my stop clock over here, and I have my stuff here, and I have a couple new tricks up my sleeve to help me make up for some of the time that I wasted in the last one. So anyways, let's go ahead and start the redemption. Five second countdown, five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna be doing just like last time is coloring the sky, and hopefully I can get this done within a few minutes, unlike last time. Last time it took like 12 minutes, and I only had 10 <laughs> to just color the sky, but uh, since I'm working a lot smaller, I should be able to uh, to make something presentable, hopefully. So I'm just starting off with orange here, and I'm already getting a bunch of streaks, which is exactly what I love to have in my skies. That was sarcasm, just in case you were wondering. I'm gonna color some yellow to cover up that white hopefully make the sky look a little bit better. And let's see, next color, this brownish color here. Yeah, so a few things that I'm gonna be changing on this one is I'm not gonna be putting the silhouette of the people. Um, I'm gonna be doing just, I'm just gonna be focusing on creating the, the scene that I intended to make in the previous video. Um, and also, just a quick thing, I did just post a tutorial on creating a space scene using pretty much the same techniques that I'm, that I'm gonna be using here, uh, using markers and uh, colored pencils and some ink. So yeah, you can be sure to check that out. It's uh, a lot better looking than what I'm probably about to create. Uh, this time I'm going to add some red to the sky just to keep it saturated, make it look a little bit nicer, a little bit brighter, more sunset-y. If that's a word, sunset -y, that should be a word. If it's not, I just made it a word. And like that. And some um, um, this color, maybe. A little bit gray to tone that red down. And I apologize if the markers are making a lot of noise. This is really 
difficult to do and not make noise. Um, but I did move my microphone, so hopefully it's not as bad this time. Yes, so there's the sky. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to use this color. And I'm going to create some mountains here. And I'm just kind of doing jaggedy lines. And I don't feel like that's dark enough. But I'm going to keep doing it anyway. Because I'm persistent to a fault. And I'm going to do a mountain like this. Just there. And you can't see the edge of the mountain, which is just fantastic. Um, I'm going to add some mountain like this. And a mountain like here. And yes, just like that. Get this color again. And maybe this will help make those mountains stand out a bit more. I think I'm already doing better. Yeah, I'm only four minutes in, and I already have the sky done. I should be so proud. Yeah, I think by this point in the last video, I was still in the sky. I don't even think I did anything else. It was so, just so bad. It came out terrible. I'm trying to create like a foggy-esque scene here with the mountains. Um, I don't know how that's working out. Let's see. Um, Color perhaps is what I wanted. Such little time, I don't have time to like check to make sure I grab the right color. So I keep grabbing the wrong colors. Black. Um, let me just darken these. I'm um, gonna keep like an edge here that's colorful. This is me creating texture. Yeah, that's how you create texture in limited time. Okay, so that oh, I've got four and a half minutes left. I might as well go take a nap. Jeez, I'm gonna take a nap after this. This challenge is freaking exhausting. Oh, I messed up. I didn't want to color that. I'm not paying attention. See, see what happens when you try to relax. Oh, I'm gonna add some more texture. That, like that. That's texture. That's how you do it right there. Color in some of that. And over here, um, I don't like it all black, so I'm gonna just kind of scribble some red on there as well, just to give it a tint, make it sit in that scene a little bit nicer. Oh, three and a half minutes, I'll make a stretch. All right, here's one of the little tricks that I came up with because I needed to save time, and my trees in the last one, oh my gosh, the trees in the last one were so bad. Oh gosh, it was so terrible. So I'm just taking like this this scrubby pad and um, throwing some of the marker ink on there and then dabbing it on the paper. And it kind of gives me kind of gives me fun tree textures and it saves me a ton of time. I'm just gonna do it all over this place here. <laughs> Oh yeah, this scene looks so much better. Three minutes? Oh yeah. If I had tea, I would take a sip. I don't have tea. I could go make tea, I have so much time left. Oh yeah, working smaller? Definitely, definitely the biggest help here. And I'll just add a few details to the tree. And by details, I mean just scribbling on this piece of paper. Yeah, that's details. Um, 
Okay, now I'm going to switch the colored pencils and I'm going to add some, some clouds here. I'm just going to put a happy cloud here. I feel like the Bob Ross of markers right now. Mm, cloud, cloud, cloud. And get some of this gray in here. I got happy clouds, but I have a sad sky. You see how that works? I'm like the emo Bob Ross. Uh, some orange to brighten it up. And to hopefully blend out some of those colors a little bit. I'm going to take some white here. I should have sharpened it. And I'm just going to try to like create a foggy-esque kind of glow at the bottom of the mountains here just to fill it in a little bit. And what to do? Oh, markers. Um, I'm going to fix this. You should never do the sun. You should never do the sun completely white. It should always be kind of like an off yellow to an off orange. And that will make, that'll make the sun look more glowy. Actually, I'm gonna use um, this color pencil to help the sun look more glowy. Just some circles. And some scribbles in uh, 30 seconds. Let's see here. Ah, uh, yes, much better. I'm gonna throw in a little dot here, and then I'm gonna give it some wings. And a little dot here, and I'm gonna give it some wings. And maybe one up here, and kind of that's that's a that bird doesn't that bird can't fly. I promise you that bird can't fly. It has a broken wing. That bird has a broken wing. Yeah. You know what? There needs to be one more, like right here. And try not to give it broken wings. There. Oh, it's over. Oh, I'm done. Look at that. So, I'm happy with this. I think it looks ten times better than this garbage I got over here. And that was fun. Uh, I feel like I actually completed something. Uh, I wasn't even paying attention to time. Hopefully I didn't go over time. If I did, then I will I will remove this bird. I will take that bird out if I broke the rules. Anyways, um, this is a super fun challenge. This is why I had to do it again. Um, I'm not going to do it again after this, though. <laughs> Although I'm thinking about a challenge of my own. Um, I'll get back to you on that. But anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure that you go check out these artists. They're amazing. Um, and hold them accountable, especially the ones that I tagged to do this challenge. And uh, yes, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel as well. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace. Oh, time for a nap. What are you still doing here? I did the challenge, now go away.